Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about understanding one of the reasons that the conjugate method will work for pretty much every single training goal, no matter what it is that you plan on ultimately competing in. Or if your goal is to just get generally strong and fast and powerful and athletic. Right, even those sort of general goals, it works. And, and it works because it's a system with a well-constructed, well-understood set of basic templates for your main exercises. Okay, running in a periodized system that as long as it scales to your individual strength level will work. In other words, as long as you legitimately test your maxes correctly and know what they are, the base system will work. Almost anybody will get bigger and stronger running conjugate unless they're an advanced lifter already, even if they mess up the supplemental work. As long as they're doing supplemental work, they can actually get it somewhat wrong and still make progress. It's just not going to be great progress. And that's the difference that we need to understand here with this. The supplemental work lets you fine-tune it towards goals. That's why it's not necessarily a power lifting system. A power lifter will look at the, the squat bench and deadlift variations on this training system and try to build their strength base using the supplemental lifts based around those. They'll, they'll just work on their weak points for those. Okay? But you could do something totally different and still make good gains. In fact, I would venture to say that if a person didn't want to have a lot of complexity or care about a whole lot of specific goals, they could just run conjugate and do some upper back work with rowing and some good mornings and a little bit of arms. <laughs> the average lifter would probably make more progress just running the max work and the speed work and rotating lifts with whatever equipment they have than 90% of the training systems that are already out there, the other stuff that's out there. And, and that's what I mean by it. You'll actually make gains on it. Now, if you're, a, a, you know, well into your intermediate phase or something, possibly an advanced lifter, that may not be good enough. And it's because you're actually going to need to do real weak point training at a certain threshold. Otherwise, your progress is going to be excruciatingly and painfully slow. But you would still probably make some progress. So what it comes down to is tuning the supplemental work around your goals. Okay, and the supplemental work that you're going to need for being a baseball player is not going to be the same goals that you need if your goal is to get your deadlift max as high as possible. And the reason the system works with all of this is because almost everyone out there will benefit from increasing max strength, increasing speed strength, and increasing general hypertrophy. Almost every single athletic goal on earth will benefit from those. And I'll go so far as to say even guys who just want to gain some muscle will benefit from those. Right? In, in what world out there are you not going to gain some muscle by putting another 100 pounds on your bench press? Now, four guys say, well, the one rep max is noise. Well, if your max goes up by 100 pounds, so did your 10 rep max. Okay. Have you ever seen any guy take a closed grip bench press and go from 135 for 10 to 235 for 10 and not see their pecs, shoulders, and triceps grow? Have you ever heard of that happening? Of course not. Of course not. Same thing with your, your box squatting and your pulling and other stuff. Right? You're, you're going to gain muscle. You're going to gain muscle from the speed work. The speed work alone is hypertrophic. I've had natural bodybuilders admit when they mess with conjugate that they got a lot bigger on the speed work. When they added in the dynamic work, they got bigger. They gained muscle. Particularly in the muscles most involved in the speed work like their back, their triceps, okay? You'll get bigger doing it. But getting stronger and getting faster on a periodized system tends to make you better at most sports. It tends to make you better at most of your physical goals. 
And everything else is about fine-tuning the supplemental work because this is a system to where it's intended that you're going to do supplemental work. Right? You're going to do sports-specific work. The system is written in such a way that the primary template is low volume. And that's one of the, the straw man arguments people make. Well, it's a low volume system. Only the base templates. And if you follow only the base templates, you only do one exercise two days of the week out of your, out of your four training days. So obviously you're supposed to be doing other stuff. And it's all written into all the structure of it. Because the base template, you have two max effort days and two dynamic effort days. And it works. And it works in dozens of different sports. Elite athletes all over the world in dozens of different sports use this system. Not a powerlifting system. The powerlifting system, when you use it specifically for the sports specificity of powerlifting, it's a baseball player system when you use it to increase specificity for baseball. It's just a basic strength and conditioning system that's well structured off of good science and good periodization concepts. Okay, you add in the other stuff that you need. It means you're going to do sport specific stuff. That means that you're going to do additional exercises based around your needs. If you need bigger triceps, you're going to do a bunch of tricep work. If you need a bunch of extra upper back, you're going to do a bunch of extra upper back work. If you need more hamstring, you're going to add more hamstring work to it. It's understood. That's the way even the power lifters who run it do it. You're supposed to be doing conditioning work on this system. Okay, if you're involved in a sport where you need more general physical preparedness and conditioning, you're going to work that in. Not even Viata runs this system for his hybrid athletes. He runs a version of conjugate for his hybrid athletes. What I mean, he's got people who do marathons and powerlifting meets in the same year. The system is equipped to handle this. Because it's designed to make you all around good at stuff. And to leave you recovery for all your specific training. Right? This system is designed to leave you recovery for that. That's why sometimes you'll see me go through phases of very, very high volumes of just straight rep work. Because the recovery is there. So if I just cut out my conditioning and stuff, I can focus on pure hypertrophy. Or we can focus more on speed strength. Do some of the Olympic lifts, additional plyometrics. If I want to do more conditioning, I'll do more metabolic conditioning. Right now is a pretty good balance of all of it. I'm balancing all those things that's what I'm doing it gives you room for your sport specific practice okay so if you need to do your you're doing BJJ or something which again I have at least one client at any given time doing BJJ who we run this system it gives you the recovery you just don't do as much supplemental volume so that you can get in your time rolling All right that's what they call it they roll. Interesting term. I get why they call it though having seen it. You know, they, they need their practice time in. They need to have conditioning work time. So you need to be able to recover from all that. Well, you just program it in. All right? You do it on your off days. You do your sports specific stuff on your three off days. And in theory, if you're recovered enough, you could do some of your practice on those days too. It's going to be harder. Your max effort days, you could you can schedule those on days where you practice. Right? You make it all flow. You make it all flow. That's the idea. But all your additional supplemental work is built around your specific needs, your sports specific training. And for a lot of us, that sports specific training is getting good at our big lifts. So we're coming in and doing supplemental work to get stronger at the main lifts, which, or even stronger at our ME and DE work, which makes us stronger at the main lifts. But if you've got slightly different goals from that, or you compete in something else, the program is designed to still be a general strength and conditioning program that's really, really good. And you just replace some of the other stuff, the mini workouts and restoration workouts and GPP, with your sport specific needs. And that sport specific needs could be that you just want to look jacked. So what would you replace a lot of that with? Just 
bodybuilder type training and it works and it works for everyone it works for everyone okay it's why I tell people the system can be used by everybody it can be used by everybody I care what you compete in all right guys well that's really all I have to say on that today I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.